we have DIY CDN, and that's kind of where you, you actually build out um, a caching presence. Um, you kind of build it out for, you know, kind of geared towards actually serving out some sort of capacity. Um, not just say, hey, we're going to off offload maybe 5 or 10% traffic. You actually kind of build it out. And there might be some strategic reason you want to do that. Whether that's to kind of have a better control of your security, better control of your delivery, um, maybe you just have a lot of really custom logic, or, you know, maybe even just to kind of cut costs or just to, to, just to kind of beef up your, your offerings. Lots and lots of reasons why people are building um, CDNs today. I would say one of the big ones is for security and for kind of control of content. So what are the pros and cons here? So obviously pros, fixed costs, um, you know, purchasing hardware, leasing lines, um, co-loc any space, you know, that's gonna cost you, you know, some sort of fixed amount of cost. Like let's say maybe like that diagram, the previous slide, maybe that's gonna cost you like, you know, three, four, five thousand dollars a month. Yet if you were to go ahead and pay for that um, to your CDN, you know, that could be tens of thousands of dollars a month. And, and that's the thing, that, that fixed cost basically gives you a certain amount of capacity. Whereas, like, you know, if your traffic fluctuates, you know, you're going to be paying, you could be paying even a lot more. Um, you have total uh, content security. You know, you kind of own the hardware. You own the software. Um, you have basically total control over all that data flowing through the servers. Um, you know, like I said, you control the software, so you have all control over kind of what are the, you know, what we say in Varnish, like what that VCL configuration is, you know, how you kind of format the data, how you deliver it to the clients. Another nice thing here is like, once again, this blends really well with kind of like a hybrid architecture. So like I was saying before, um, one of the nice things about hybrid architecture, very low risk. So even if you were to build something like this out, um, and let's say that that pop gets, you know, um, flooded with traffic, you know, it's not all or nothing. We can go ahead and route traffic dynamically um, to another location. Um, you can scale it up or down as you see fit. You can do that day by day.